Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day two of the daily scripture writing. Um, this is what day look, one looked like, and it had a few pages. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So... I was going to do like a commentary, I think it's called commentary, where the person explains, you know, in depth of this. I'm not going to do that in here because I have this one I am working on as well, which is my In Touch was the name I was looking for. Um, yes, um, actually today In Touch Ministries and I'm doing journaling in here as well. So because of this, I am not going to do commentary in here. I'm going to do commentary in this one. Well, actually, I already put the washi, so maybe I won't be doing either one. Maybe I'll find another one to do. So yeah, let's begin. So remember, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. Um, please, yeah, please leave a comment and, you know, it just lets me know you like the video. It lets me know that you're watching and listening and, I mean, I'm happy of all the comments that I get if it's good or bad I mean if it's bad it's just it ain't me it's just a person like not liking the video or something but I hope everyone enjoys this video and takes something from scripture writing and I have to find my little cutting blade that I had you know I don't know how I could lose something when I'm not even home like, I had a cutting blade on my desk. And it's literally gone. Or moved. Ugh, was it ready? Really? It was a nice one, too. So, if I can't find it, well, it's alright. I'm in the middle of cleaning my desk. And cleaning out, like, all the Christmas. For some reason, with this paper, I have a hard time putting washi. I've never had a hard time putting as, you know, washi as much as this one. It's like the middle buckles up or something, and then it doesn't go even. Could it be the page? I want to blame the page. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy these videos. Again, I love doing them. I'll have the washi put on before I start doing the videos. That way it's easier because with this one was a very long scripture writing. It was very, very long. And I don't want to hold you up. I want you to, you know, get something out of the video, not just a long video, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. So I have that paper there, the stickers, not paper. The stickers next to me so that I can put a sticker down. I'm loving how this is turning out in this book. Because if you remember, I was doing scripture writing in my big, you know, like Happy Planner discs. Not the big one, but the classic size. Pages are looking a little wonky here. So for day two, with all the rambling I just did, is Psalms. Um, 27, 7 through 14. 27, 7 through 14. It's January 2nd, 2020. And the reason I'm doing the date is so it looks kind of like a diary. But before I start that, I wanted to put something nice here. And I said, let's see, let yourself rest, daily focus, positive vibes, fierce and fabulous, faith. Um, and this is not like just faith related because like it says faith it's not just faith related I think I'm going to put I can and I will because I think I can you know accomplish scripture writing and guess what I will because it's fearless okay so with that being said Let's start reading the Bible. I can't even talk. 
the Bible. The page is starting to like buckle in, so it's Psalms 27, and I am using my little one. I can't find my big one, and I left the house, started cooking, and forgot what I was doing. So now I have to look. Okay, so I found Psalms. wasn't that hard to find. Um, Psalms 27. This is going to be a rough one to show you. Because it is kind of dark out. So it shouldn't be that much because look at 27. It's not that much writing. So 27.7. And if you can get your Bibles out through 14. So it goes all the way till till the end, till here. So it's not too much. So let's read this part. <laughs> so Psalms 27. So there's 26 through 28 here. So here's 27 and I know it's kind of small. It says, hear my voice when I call Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you seek his face your face lord i will seek do not hide your face from me do not turn your servant away in anger you have been my helper do not reject me or forsake me god my savior though my father and mother forsake me the lord will receive me that is beautiful teach me your way lord lead me in the strength in a straight path because of my oppression oppressors do not turn me over to the desire of my foes for false witness rise up against me spouting malicious accusations i remain confident of this i will see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Wow, that is beautiful. So with that being said, how is everybody doing? And I always say this in every single video. Let me blow this up so we can see something of it. Yeah, so how is everybody doing? We just started scripture reading. I started a day late, but I have two videos for you today for scripture reading. You will get this video today can't say what time and again I posted the whole scripture writing you know prompts in the description below so you have it so if you don't see me do it one day because you know life does happen you have it so there should be no reason you're not doing yours unless again life happens for you but you have, you know, you have the prompts. Because there is going to be times where I'm not going to be able to do every single day filming it. I mean, I am only human. But I will, if I don't film it, I will catch up and show you it. So that way you have an idea. Yeah, she's doing hers. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this verse and I mean not what you think of it but what do you take from it you know we need to start doing discussions and I think that's my cat oh my gosh we need to start doing some uh, discussions so it keeps the channel growing it keeps uh, people see the channel and they will come to this channel and want to watch you know scripture writing it touches people that's how I think and I love writing I love the notebook like this notebook is gorgeous to me and I love putting pen to paper and you don't have to do what I do you don't have to washi tape it you don't have to sticker it you don't have to do any of that all I ask is that you, you know, read your Bible and you learn from it. You grow from it. You can journal. I mean, you can do exactly what I'm doing is just writing the, you know, scripture out. 
and it's better to read it a couple times to understand it i think i could be wrong oh my gosh my cat if i'm in my room she has to be in there i could be gone all day and she don't care but if i'm home she has to be with me and she knows i'm doing a video she's so rude Sorry, my husband let the cat in. So yeah, so I lost my train of thought. But if you have any questions on scripture writing, leave it in the comments below. This one doesn't look like it's gonna be too long. It looks like it's going by a little fast. If you have like 10 minutes to play on your phone, you have 10 minutes to do scripture reading. My cat is driving me crazy today. So yeah, so that's how it's looking so far. And then I just keep going reading it as I go. I always read it as I go so I know exactly what I'm writing and I get to understand it better and it just helps. It helps you grow closer to the Lord. Like I write songs out. I've been starting to write songs out. I think it, there's one in here or it might be my other one but yeah I have lyrics written out from my god I can't remember her name she's one of the upcoming or she's been out and I can't think of her name she's a really young girl that you know was on American Idol got, I think she got rejected or something I forgot her name but she is a very young good singer her voice is amazing to me she sounds like oh what is her name Adele to me, she sounds like her. So, it'll come to me, the name. It, you know what it's going to do? It's going to bother me. Knowing that I like the singer and can't even think of the girl's name. But I have my book next to me, so let me grab it real quick. I feel so embarrassed for not knowing it. Um, this is another one of mine. And let's see. You Say by Lauren Daigle. That is a beautiful song. You say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I'm strong when I think I am weak. You say I'm held when I am falling short. When I don't belong, you say I'm yours. That is a beautiful song. I actually like that was one of my favorite lyrics from her and then her song Rescue is a very nice song so you can even put that in your journals like when you're writing you can have a little section for lyrics and it don't have to be every single page just when it feel when you feel like you need it that's what I do you need a section for prayer, like prayer requests, um, all kinds of stuff you could put in your prayer books or your war book, whatever you want to call your book. You can put in there. And yeah, so the word of the year for me is, and I'm glad I picked it, fearless, because I want to be fearless in everything I do. Whether it's work, whether it's myself, whether it's, you know, growing closer with the Lord, whatever it is at the time, or not just at the time, but I mean, whatever it is, that's what I want to do, is grow, to grow, I can't even talk today, to grow closer to the Lord. You ever feel like you're tongue-tied and you just feel embarrassed after because you're like you knew the word but 
you just couldn't get it out. That was me just now. Like I felt a little embarrassed, embarrassed because sometimes you'll say these words and you'll be like, is that what I should have said? Or it came out wrong or something. I don't know. I go on these tangents. <laughs> and I'm like, did I overthink it? And that's one of my words I should have used was overthinking because I do that very, 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 very a lot. Very much a lot. See, like that didn't even sound right. See, that's me again overthinking. But I like the word fearless. It came from my journal. And I looked at the journal one day and I'm like reading it. And it said, this girl is... Oh my God, I'm going to quote something and I can't even quote it correctly. Um, this girl is forever fearless. And that is where I got this word from. And I love it. I love the word. But you have to do what it says. You have to be fearless. Having fear is not good. You fear your job. You fear you fear your life. You fear walking down the street. Chicago's got some bad streets too. Um, what else do you fear? You fear money. You fear like you're going to lose your money. You fear like you're going to lose your house. You fear like you're going to lose your car. There's so many fears out there that that's why you have to be fearless and let God show you the way. Walk with God. He's not going to steer you wrong. He uh, steer you wrong. He's going to give you the tools that you need. And one of the biggest tools is the Bible. Is a book like this. Any book that's the Bible. That is for God. That is what you need. And I probably sound silly talking and you know, like maybe not you know saying it correctly or anything but just know that I am doing this for growth with the Lord and trying to just lead a better life. So whatever you take from these videos, even if it sounds crazy, my videos, whatever you take from the video, if it's just a passage, if it's anything, leave it in the comments below because I would love to hear like how you like my scripture writing videos that way I know you know well I should be a little bit more with this and a little bit more with that and I don't want it just to be scripture writing I want it to be books I want it to be all kinds of stuff I'm just nervous to do books because of a copyright infringement but I mean you there you go it's fear it's fear of being copyrighted being sued for something that you're just trying to do good that's where your fear comes in that's where you need to be fearless but not to be crazy either so I don't know today I made I was supposed to make we'll get off the subject I was supposed to make um, pork chops in Puerto Rican rice Obviously, I'm Hispanic. I'm Puerto Rican. Um, I am half and half, a little white and Puerto Rican. Um, yeah, so that's where the skin tone comes in. And so you'd be like, oh wait, she's Puerto Rican, but she's like a little bit whiter than that. But no, it's just I'm half and half. So I cook American food, I cook Hispanic food, I cook I cook all kinds of food. And what I'm trying to get at is it sounded stupid as I was saying it that I changed my mind and made chili. <laughs> I was gonna make pork chops and Puerto Rican rice. And what did I do? I turned around and made chili. So we gave my dog chili, well my daughter's dog chili, and she's in love with chili now. 
Oh my gosh, she wants more chili. I'm like, you can't have any more. So yeah, with, the, with that being said, look at how fast it was. It was pretty quick. I kind of like this for the new year. I don't know, something about this just tells me it's like the new year. I don't know why. I don't even remember where I got it from. But I know I got it and I'm gonna use it. That's another thing. Use what you have. If you're scripture writing, use what you have. Because in the long run, you're just buying and hoarding. When you can be buying and using. So I'm trying to go on this no spend month and it's not working out. Because you want all the things. This went from scripture to hoarding to... I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. Just kidding. But yeah. It's like it went all over the place. <laughs> so this is the daily scripture writing. For day two. I'm going to go in and highlight what I need to highlight. But I just wanted to get the video out for you and let me, I don't know if my highlighter is going to work in here though, because I have the Mr. Sketch scented and this is very old. It's supposed to smell like what, orange? And I just feel like it's going to go through the next page. Let's see if I did it like that. See, yeah, I feel like it's going to like bleed through. So I'll probably just get my mile liner in my line. But this is day two of the daily scripture reading. Thank you for watching. Day three will be coming up shortly. And again, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I'm going in in a few minutes just to like add some washi to this so that this step I don't have to do. And you don't have to do this step. It's just this, the book, a journal, and this. And it don't even have to be this kind of journal. This is a very pretty one. And you know, I like it. It's, you know, getting its, it's getting its use finally from sitting in my room so long. And yeah, you can use a dollar journal. You can use whatever you get your hand on. And just scripture rate. And just sit there and just go with the Lord. They have commentaries. It's Blue Letter Bible. And if you put in the verse, it'll give you the commentary. I think it's called commentary about the verse. So check that out and see. Blue Letter Bible app. And yeah, type in... Psalms 27.7 and see what it says about this verse. You, you'll be surprised. You know, like if we think it means something, the commentary is going to tell you what it means pretty much. You know, so to confirm it or it's not guaranteed. It's, you know, what we think is the same as what they are saying. But yeah, I'm just rambling on. So I'm going to let you go and thank you for watching. And it will be on both channels and my Facebook group. Go check out that one, which is Scripture Writing by Honey. You know, just answer the few questions and I will, you know, have you on the Scripture Writing. Again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.